Hi everybody, my name is Antoinette and welcome to Board Game Inquisition, where we're here to offer you insight and information about the board games you might want to have in your collection. So today we're looking at something a little bit different because it isn't actually a board game. So allow me to introduce to you, without further ado, the board game book. So first things first, before I put the cover of this beautiful book up in the background like I normally do and talk about it, um, I'd like to discuss what type of book this is because if you look very carefully and if you were to look at it online it's volume one. So this book is really more of an annual um, than it is kind of you know a, to a tome per se like that. Um, so those of you in the UK are probably familiar with like the Beano annuals and things like that. In Ireland we had like Shimsa or Spree. Um, I think this is supposed to be that edition for the board game world, you know. So once a year you would pick up a new copy and um, find out all this kind of fun stuff about board games and what's been happening with it. So it isn't the kind of book you're going to pick up and, you know, I suppose have forever. It's kind of something you might want to have a set of. I think it's kind of a cool idea because the board game community moves so fast these days and there's so many new things so when you open this up don't expect to be you know reading entirely about the history of board games although that is there um their focus here is on modern modern board games i'm going to read you a little bit from the introduction from the editor owen duffy yeah i know this sounds really lame that i'm reading to you in a video but it really encapsulates a hell of a lot better than i could write what this book is actually trying to achieve um so you know this book really is a celebration of the explosion in analog gaming it's written by some of the world's most knowledgeable intelligent and entertaining games critics and also me he says and it's intended not only to shine a spotlight on some of the best recent tabletop releases but to dig into exactly what makes these games tick it's full of insightful critiques as well as exclusive interviews with game designers from legendary figures in the industry to up and coming um, creators whose names you'll be hearing much more often in the years to come so this book really focuses on showing you everything that is in the kind of board game community community these days well tabletop too it talks about rpgs as well um i think that's a really interesting endeavor right um for me when i looked at this book originally i'll pop it up here again so you can all have a, a look at it with me look at that that's quality when it just stands <laughs> all right all right we, we were asking a lot yeah that better say a little prayer um so First, first impressions, right? It's a really nice cover. Um, if you're like me, you'll instantly go on, what game is that from? Mom? What game is that from? Um, and I felt just that way about it. I was trying to name everything off. Um, it's appealing, inviting, and it's colorful, right? Um, so beyond that, it's beautifully made. So let's talk about the fact it's a hardcover back book. Um, this book cost to, to buy new 22 pounds on Amazon. You can buy it used for 11 pounds, which I thought was really, really cheap. And that seems like an excellent price for this book. Um, it's also in the same price range as what I would call kind of other coffee table books. You know, the kind of book you have um, and it's got like bits of information, you will casually read it. It's not something you're gonna take with you to bed every night or something like that to read. It's not telling you a story, it's imparting information. And I think this book falls very squarely into that category. Um, it's lovely how it's put together. Um, it's full of color pictures. Um, I'll show you a little video of that. It's a beautiful layout inside it's kind of it's very attractive and it's also um it grabs you you know you want to kind of read more and you want to get to know more about it so from the get-go yeah i was interested just uh, you know despite the fact it's about board games it's also a beautiful book 
So what's it like to actually read this? What's the, the layout like? So there are some lovely sections. The game's broken up into sections. So there's a, a piece for kind of like the history of gaming. Then there's like party weight games, family games, midweight games, heavier games. Um, and I really appreciate that. So for instance, if you're not interested in a particular topic, you could ignore it entirely, should you so desire. Um, but I like that they're kind of grouped together and it makes it easier for you to kind of make comparisons between the game. Now, it is written a little bit like a newspaper article. So as I mentioned earlier, this is probably not good bedtime reading, but that's just me. I'd like to point out my husband did in fact use this book for bedtime reading. Um, but for me, I felt like it was, I don't know, kind of a, a quite serious um, book and one that I wanted to pay attention to as I was reading it. Now maybe that's just because I find kind of the source material so interesting and I wanted to absorb everything as opposed to casually read it but I do think it'll appeal to that in um, for you know most people you could read it one way or the other. So despite the style of writing you have here it is very well written um, and it's obvious. I wish I could describe games half as well as the people in this book do. Um, and I think that's, it's really cool to hear somebody else talk about a game you really enjoy. Um, and I liked how they kind of went through um, different games um, that I was familiar with, but also ones that I wasn't. So I felt like I got to learn a bit and even about the games that I felt I knew. I think the highlight in this book is actually the interview with some of the game's designers. Um, I think it's always really um, exciting to get insight into, you know, how they come up with this thought process, how the game got put together. You often get tidbits about how the game maybe was changed over time. And I think the questions that are asked um, of the game designers are good ones too. They're the kind of things you might want to know yourself. So I think they're the kind of the icing on the cake here when you read a little bit about your game, and then you get to hear a little bit about from the designers. Next question I suppose is, are there any other books like this? Um, I've definitely seen or you know noticed on the internet because that's a real place um, other books to do with the hobby but nothing that's really focusing on just modern stuff or new th new games and I found that this book was a really good way to you know to discover games too or to learn a little bit more about ones maybe I'd heard of or even to look at ones that I wouldn't have looked at before but now might that I know a little more. Um, and sure you could go online and you know Google or go to Board Game Geek for all these different games but the fact that their names and stuff are laid out here with these beautiful pictures it's far more enticing than doing just that. There's something really cool about having a compendium of games to look at and choose from um, rather than having to do all the work for yourself because the work's really been done for you. So the big question is might why might you want this um, book? I was gonna say game because I'm so used to reviewing games it's difficult to review a book um, but really the thing is when I looked at it first I thought of it as a coffee table book I thought this would be an awesome thing to have in my sitting room and that you might flick through while you're waiting for something else to do or if you had somebody over they might have a look um, but you know what that was just a terrible lie <laughs> I'm sure you can do that with this book but I think it would be wasted there um, I think this is something that is just, it's fun to look at. Um, so even if you never read it, you could look at the pictures. Um, it's one that gets other people interested in games um, because obviously they too, you know, look through and like, oh, what's this? What's this? Could we try this? I think it's a great introduction for people who are only starting out in gaming too, um, to, to kind of help you open up your world um, and to give you kind of new and fresh ideas. Um, and finally, I'm gonna admit at the end of this review that I have not read the entire book and I was working very hard on reading it all before coming to talk to you about it. Um, I think that would have done the book a disservice because the truth is I really enjoy savouring this. I like picking up and reading a page and kind of digesting it and things like that and then coming back to it later. It's great for picking up and putting back down because it's, you know, the type of book it is. It isn't a novel. And I find like I like going to it for inspiration um, and just kind of looking through and saying, oh, maybe what might I play tonight? So I'm not really treating it like I would a regular book. I'm treating it as like a repository of knowledge. Um, I think that's o I think that's okay too. Um, I do think this book will appeal to a lot of people, specifically if you like board games. Um, or also if you like books. <laughs> um, and I think that this is a really, really great book. It's really well written. It looks really good. And it's got some really fun and interesting information inside of it. And, and at that price, I think it's, a, it's, it's kind of a steal. So 
that's exactly what I think about the board game book. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd love to hear more from you. Have you read another book about board games before? Do you know of any others? Um, is this becoming kind of a, a new thing? Mm -hmm. who, who knows? Um, but yeah, I'd love to hear from you. So until next time, I'll be here playing games, asking questions, and of course, perusing my collection. Take care.